actually need to set it up. Those things do not come natively in the box. You'll have to buy them separately. So to start off, what you want to do, and then in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and take our AC adapter, which came in the box. It's this little thing that has like two holes next to it. And we are going to plug it into this specific portion of our monitor or our Mac mini. So we're going to go ahead and take our, you know, two prong, whatever this thing is, the AC adapter, and we are going to plug it in until it kind of snaps into place right there. Now you can find these all over the place. If you lost yours, you know, they're available. They're very, very standard. Now we are, we are also going to go ahead and find an HDMI cord, or you can also plug in, like I mentioned, a, you know, a, a USB-C port if you have it. But in this case, our monitor is a little bit older. We have an HDMI cord. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and pretty much just plug in our HDMI port into our HDMI cord like this. And that is pretty much step two. Now the last step is basically plugging in your, you know, how you're going to navigate through your whole entire system. So in this case, I do have a magic keyboard and a magic mouse. So for me to go ahead and set these up with this, it's a very basic process. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and plug in and basically power on your specific Mac. So go ahead and you know, power it on and you should hear a little boot up sound sometimes. Maybe not, it really just depends. If it doesn't boot up, then that's kind of an issue. And there we go. I can see it from my monitor that it's actually booting up. So in this case, once it's powered on, you can go ahead and grab some sort of lightning cord if you want to, if you're using one of these types of keyboards. So in this case, I'm going to be using this specific you know, lightning port. So I'm going to go and take this lightning port here. And I'm going to plug it into the USB-C port that we had right here. And then what you can do is you can go and grab the lightning port here and go ahead and plug it into the sides or at least with the you know lightning port of these devices. So if they're wireless, that's a different type of way of setting it up. But if they're wired or they have the ability of being charged up, all you have to do is go and plug them in one time to your specific Mac mini like this. You can go and unplug it, do the exact same thing with your keyboard. Go ahead and find the lightning you know, port, which is right at the very end of this one. Go and plug it in just like this. And that is all you're going to have to do. Your device should now be detected with these you know, keyboards and the mouses. And you are almost ready to go. So now we're going to make our way over to our monitor. And we're going to go ahead and show you a little bit around of that device too.